These mesh gradients are extremely popular in 2023 design trends. Let's learn how to design these gradients. Let's start. Let's add a frame of 1920 and 1080 height and let's give it a darker color like black. Let's rename to desktop. Make sure that this clip content option is selected so that it clips the content outside the frame. Now the first thing you need to do is select the pen tool and start creating your shapes. You can create your own shapes just by this pen tool. Start creating these random shapes and close the, the path and make sure that the shapes that you create are inside the frame. Now mostly it's outside the frame so make sure that these are inside the frame. And let's give it some color for now and this is just one shape you have to create many shapes just like this one so uh, you can do that by going to the pen tool again and start creating some other shape just like this and exactly like that put it inside the frame and make the fill to something else and let's put it behind the first shape just like this now you can keep on creating these shapes but I've already created some shapes I've put these shapes on top of each other uh, these are all separate shapes as you can see this is one shape this is the second shape and we have so on and so forth and I've given them a different color so that I can see the difference of each shape now let's copy this and paste it into our frame just like this and perfect now let's start giving colors to these shapes and I've already created a color palette so let's begin by selecting the first shape then the second then the third then the fourth and so on so let's select the first shape and give it a linear gradient remember you have to give it a linear gradient uh, so for the for the first color i'm gonna give this uh, this blue color and i'm gonna add another point in between and give this a pink color and for the last color of the gradient i'm gonna select this red and let's change the direction to something like this so that it goes from below to top from blue to red just like this and you can even change the positioning as you like let's actually try to reduce the opacity so it looks nice and move it across just like this yeah it looks nice now our first shape is ready go to the second shape and add a linear gradient and select the first color which is our orange color and the second color which is kind of a faded red and let's change the direction as well from lighter to darker on the top uh, make sure to uh, set these so that it looks really natural and let's select the third shape select the linear gradient and add this yellow color and this other yellow over here on the second one all right so let's change the direction as well just like this from lighter to dark on the top and make sure to remove these strokes because I've already uh, create, added those strokes so I'm just doing that you don't have to do that if you don't have a stroke uh, so now let's select this shape over here and uh, start giving it a linear gradient select this light light sky blue color and select this one over here and oops sorry let's change the direction as well again lighter on the bottom and darker on the top you have to be creative about this so that it looks nice and uh, let's say that for this shape over here I'm gonna uh, select this plain blue color and let's select another one actually remove the stroke and select this one and give it this this gradient of linear gradient for this blue and darker blue just like this and 
let's change the direction to something like this let's make it a bit more fun so that you can see that you don't have to be rigid about the directions you can be creative and for the for the last shape it's not a shape it's basically the fr the background the the color of the frame so i'm just going to give it a plain blue color and let's remove this stroke as well and there you go you have the gradient ready now it's time we merge these gradients together so let's select all these shapes and press command d or control d on windows this will place a copy of each shape on top of each other and then you can just go to effect and add a layer blur make sure that these are selected uh, these are the top top duplicated shapes and let's lock these ones so that we don't select them accidentally make sure to do this this will make your job easier now select this uh, this the bottom shape of the duplicated shape so you can see I've selected this one and let's give it uh, let's start reducing the gradient opacity so select each of the color and start reducing the gradients opacity just like this so that it's it kind of merges but you can still see a bit of line so that it looks nice and uh, we can see the difference and let's select this one and from the top color let's reduce the opacity to something like this and let's reduce it to something around here yeah so what is happening is it's revealing the the top blurred shape as we reduce the opacity so it kind of gives the the merging effect let's reduce this to like this and select the other one as well and reduce the opacity to something like this as you can see this is a nice glow let's select this shape now and start reducing the opacity just like this same goes for this one and that's perfect now let's select the this shape this one actually and let's reduce the opacity for this one this is a solid fill color so you can reduce the opacity to something like this now we have this gradient let's reduce the opacity for this one as well for the first color you get the point you you have to be creative uh, around selecting the value of the opacity so that it looks really natural and there you go this is a bit higher so let's reduce this as well to something like this now let's add some text in there I'm just gonna copy and paste the text over here and there you go your 3d gradient is ready and you can use them in your projects to make them look more attractive if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and for more content like this please subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions please leave it in the comment box see you in the next one